Hello and welcome. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Chapter 4, Part 1 of our A-plus computer repair series. Uh, this will be on form factors and power supplies. Objectives. We're going to learn about different uh, form factors and computer cases. Learn how electricity is measured. Learn how to protect your computer system against damaging changes in electrical power. Learn about the Energy Star specifications. Learn how to troubleshoot electrical problems. Introduction. Uh, power supply passes power to the PC components. PC components require DC power. Elements driving the type of power supply used in a PC. Now the motherboard and the form factor of the computer case would be the two things that would drive it. Energy star devices. Uh, they're designed to save energy. Elect electricity topics covered, uh, measurements of electricity, how electricity is delivered, protecting a PC from electrical damage, uh, changing a defective power supply. Computer case, motherboard, power supply form factors, our form factor. This specifies the size, shape, and feature of a hardware device. Form factor for a motherboard is chosen first. Same form factor, form factor is used for case and power supply. We'll talk more about form factors, an important, important thing to understand. Using the same form factor assures uh, you that the motherboard fits the case. The holes in the motherboard align with the holes in the case. Wires on the case match connections on the motherboard. Now, types of form factors. The AT, that was for advanced technology form factor. Specified motherboard design of 12 by 13.8 inches. Pretty good size uh, motherboard. Utilized by a the IBM a AT PC in the 1980s. The baby AT form factor came out at 13 uh, by 8.7. Uh, considerably smaller. Industry standard form factor from 1993 to 1997. About four years. You can see we went from 1980 all the way to 19, uh, 1993, so that was about seven, uh, seven, uh, ten, about 13 years. Form factors don't change that often. Now the ATX form factor, specified motherboard dimensions of 12 by 9.6. Open specification that is most commonly used today. Includes all AT voltages plus the 3.3 uh, voltages was added. So our AT voltages was uh, 12 plus or minus uh, and 5 plus or minus, and then they added a 3.3 plus voltage. We'll talk more about the voltages. Uh, here's an example of the ATX uh, motherboard. And on the ATX, you can see on the far side over here, we've got some ports. That's what identifies it as the ATX. We have a printer port here up on top. We've got our mouse and keyboard. Uh, we have some USB ports. You can't see them, but they're on the other side here. Up in the front here, we've got our memory uh, slots. Over here, we have uh, five PCI slots. Right here, we've got our AVG for our video. This is the for the processor, where the processor plugs in. This would be the north bridge, and this would be the south bridge. Uh, the CPU on AT, at ATX motherboard sits opposite the expansion slots and does not block... Uh, the room needed for a long expansion card. So we have a lot of room here. So we could put in a long expansion card if we needed to. Types of form factors continued. Uh, the micro ATX form factor came out, reduces the number of I.O. slots on the motherboard and it becomes a much smaller board. Now the BTX, that's a fairly new one. That's the balanced uh, technology extended form factor. It focuses on reducing heat and supporting the motherboard. There's also the LPX, the mini LPX form factors, designed for low-end PC motherboards. The NLX form factor, developed and improved the LPX form factor. Backplane systems, active and passive, uh, use boards with slots, uh, but little or no circuitry. And those were for mostly the, the smaller slimline cases. Uh, here's an example of the BTX. This is improved airflow in the BTX and motherboard makes it unnecessary to have a fan on top of the processor. Probably still find fans on top of the processor because they do get very hot. But you can see this this is really an improvement having the, the, P, uh, the CPU right here so the well, air comes in and crosses it and goes right on out. Types of cases. Computer case, the chassis. 
houses the power supply, motherboard, cards, drives. Uh, panel switches on the front with lights are used uh, to control and monitor the PC. Uh, desktop cases, motherboard on the bottom, a power supply towards the rear. Uh, the tower cases, they're up to two feet high and can contain several several drives. Notebook cases, used for all portable and, ha and have desktop components in them, such as a hard drive and maybe a CD-ROM. Uh, these are different types. We have a mid, uh, mid-size and our full-size, and then desktop and then our slimline similar case. Review. Uh, computer cases. We went over several computer cases. Remember we got the towers and the desktop. Those are the primary two that we that we have. We also have the, the portables and the slimline. Now the form factors. The form factors uh, primarily today are ATX, but we're moving towards the BTX. The BTX uh, introduces a new type of motherboard uh, BTX has the, AT, uh, the PCI Express. The PCI Express is a new type of uh, data bus. We'll be talking more about it later, but it helps to improve uh, the bandwidth or throughput of the data going from uh, cards uh, that would be plugged into the motherboard to the CPU. Uh, it increases the bandwidth considerably. And again, we'll be talking more about that. Activities. Uh, what is the most popular form factor used today? want you to do a little research on that and then discuss it as to why you think that's the most popular. Uh, Lab 4.1 is going to be identify form factors and uh, there's some review questions I want you to do it at the end of it and turn those in. Uh, that's it uh, for the first uh, part of this chapter 4. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Bye.